This video will provide a top-level summary on what it takes to make a new Ford Bronco flat towable, and it is the first of four videos. The remaining videos go into the actual detailed instructions provided you buy the same stuff I did. With that, let's get started. Ford marketed the Bronco as flat towable, and this is true for the most part. I say for the most part because there seems to be some kind of software issue that made certain brake components of the Bronco go to sleep, resulting in what complainants have described as, quote, inconsistent brake feel. But as of February 2023, Ford did an over-the-air update, which seems to have addressed those problems. I personally have no frame of reference here, but I will say I flat-towed our Bronco for about 2,500 miles across the country now with no issues. At least none insofar as the Bronco is concerned. Here's everything you'll need to buy, get, or install to make the Bronco flat towable. First very broadly, then I'll jump to specific parts. You'll need a tow bar. This is the actual device that connects your tow vehicle to the Bronco. It gets inserted into the hitch receiver on your tow vehicle and also gets connected to the Bronco. The tow bar has to be appropriately rated for the weight of your Bronco. You'll need a base plate for the Bronco. Depending on your model, it'll get attached either to the modular bumper or in place of the tow hooks. This is what actually connects the Bronco to the tow bar. You'll need a flat tow wiring kit. This kit will make sure that the rear lights on your Bronco copy whatever the rear lights on your tow vehicle are doing. Things like brake lights, turn signals, and hazard lights. You will also need some form of brake assist. These are devices that actuate the brakes on your Bronco when you press the brakes in your tow vehicle, which can help reduce braking distance. This will also include an emergency breakaway switch, basically a grenade pin that will make the Bronco slam on its brakes in the event the Bronco gets completely detached from your tow vehicle. Most states require this. There are various types. Some get physically plumbed into your Bronco's braking system and are activated by wire, while others physically press on the brake pedal when the device detects a braking event, likely through an accelerometer. You'll need a cable and a female receptor that gets mounted on the Bronco. This cable is what feeds the brake light or turn signals into your Bronco. It has to match whatever it is that your tow vehicle came with, which in my case was a 7-pin outlet. Additionally, you'll have to make sure to wire it in such a way as to allow the tow vehicle to charge the battery on the Bronco so it doesn't die while being towed. Finally, when all is said and done, every time you flat tow your Bronco, you will need to put it into neutral tow mode, which among other things puts both the transmission and transfer case into neutral. If you skip this step, you will grenade your engine, transfer case, or transmission, whichever decides to yeet itself out of the car first while spinning at 50,000 RPM. With all that said, let's jump into what parts I chose. This isn't an endorsement per se, but for the most part, these items have served me well with some exceptions, which I'll mention at the end. All these items have link in the description. If you purchase them, I'll receive commission at no cost to you, which I would greatly appreciate if any of these videos wind up helping you. The tow bar is a Blue Ox BX7380 Alpha 2, and it can tow up to 6,500 pounds. For the base plate, I have a Blue Ox BX2687 base plate, which fits my 2022 Bronco Outer Banks with standard bumper. For the flat tow wiring kit, I got the Blue Ox BX8848, as well as a bunch of 16 gauge wire and 10 amp inline fuse holders from a car parts store. My brake assist is the Blue Ox BRK2019 Patriot 3 brake system. And lastly, for the cable harness, I have the Blue Ox BX8806 coiled cable with female receptor. And now for a word on each of those items. I suppose you can call this a review. The Blue Ox tow bar has worked well. It has not, as of the making of this video, sent the Bronco flying off the cliff and is very easy to use. My only gripe here is that the paint coating does not seem to be of particularly high quality, something I suspect because it has been flaking off in places, which indicates poor paint bonding. The Blue Ox base plate has performed equally admirably over 2,500 miles. Installing it, however, was not very straightforward because it required drilling into the Bronco, trimming the skid plate, which is a very expensive component and is also part of the million dollar face of the Bronco. The base plate was also a bit lacking in forethought for both the emergency brake disconnect as well as the female receptor. It also seems to have the same paint bonding issues as the tow bar. The Blue Ox wiring kit has worked fine as well. My complaint here is that there was no mention of needing to have the tow vehicle charge the Bronco. When I towed the Bronco for the first time, the battery nearly died. So important point here, you'll have to make your own battery accommodations and wiring depending on the type of connector your tow vehicle has. I basically just wired a hot and cold wire from the female receptor on the front of the Bronco to the battery on the Bronco with a protective fuse. 
I do think they really needed to include that. The Patriot 3 brake system has also worked for the most part, but not without some glaring flaws. For one, it comes pre-wired with a cigarette lighter style power connector. For the Bronco, this won't work, because the Bronco automatically turns all accessory power off after 45 minutes, which will power this device off too. So what I had to do was run a separate power connector that is directly wired to the battery so that this brake assist never loses power. I don't know if this is a problem on Blue Ox's end per se, but at the same time I suspect a lot of modern cars have this sort of power conservation behavior coded from factory, so I do feel like they should have known better than to rely on cigarette lighter outlets. Here's my other, fairly significant problem with this brake assist. I'm not sure if this particular problem is something I created by installing something wrong, or if I got a defective unit or what have you, but under certain conditions this particular brake assist will falsely sense that I'm braking and will relentlessly clamp down on the Bronco's brakes. This has happened three times on the road, and each time it seems to have been on a rough road going uphill, and the braking was so significant it sounded like it locked up the Bronco's brakes. The braking was so effective, in fact, that it was enough to practically force stop the entire RV. I couldn't really get a solid answer from Blue Ox why this might be happening, but they did suggest that I needed to turn the sensitivity down. I have set it to the arbitrary number 2 and haven't had the issue in a while, but at this low sensitivity, the brake assist often won't even activate. On the bright side, it does have a wireless console you mount inside your tow vehicle, which allows you to manually activate the brake assist, so if you really need it, at least you can activate your Bronco's brakes with a button. Lastly, the cable and female receptor. No issues with these parts other than having to get creative with mounting the female receptor on the Bronco. I want it to be as minimal as possible with changing or mangling the front appearance of the Bronco, and they seem to practically insist that you just drill this stuff into your bumper. And with a mug like this, I'm not sure I appreciate that. One optional part I didn't mention is a rock guard for your tow vehicle. Depending on how your tow vehicle is built, there's a chance that it'll throw rocks at your Bronco while on the road. I don't have one and haven't noticed any rock chips on the Bronco, possibly because the Bronco is so high and my tow vehicle sits quite low and has a long rear end, so rocks probably don't even reach the Bronco. Your mileage may vary, but I figured I ought to mention this. So that's basically the rundown. With a good amount of creativity on my end, I made all these parts work for flat towing the Bronco with minimal appearance changes. Despite my gripes, the system has worked and hasn't given me too much grief traveling across the country. In the remaining videos, which I will link to in the description, I will go over how I installed these parts in detail. Until next time, thank you for watching.